America is an uncharted territory. We are angrier and more deeply divided than we've ever been at any point in our history since the Civil War. And at the eye of the storm is Donald Trump, ripping families apart, threatening women's most basic rights, and running for attorney general because I will never be afraid to challenge this illegitimate president when our fundamental rights are at stake. From the Muslim ban, to efforts to deport immigrants, to denying transgender students the ability to choose whatever bathroom they want, rolling back regulations to protect our planet, colluding with foreign powers, putting profits over people, and dividing us in ways we haven't seen in generations, corruption in Albany, environmental hazards in Buffalo, and a criminal justice system, unfortunately, which has criminalized too many black and brown people. We can do better than this. We need to reform a criminal justice system. We need to end cash bail. We need more alternatives to incarceration. We don't need trial by ambush, which means we have to reform our discovery laws in the state of New York. We should not criminalize mental illness or poverty. And we also need to reform a grand jury system which is cloaked in secrecy. It's important that we all understand. At one point in the history of this country, they went after several immigrant groups. And now they're going after Muslims and they're going after other individuals. And now we're all in the same boat together. And that's why we've got to stand up. We've got to stand tall. We've got to stand for our freedom and our constitution and our democracy. And at a time when Congress, particularly Republicans, do not have a backbone, it's important that Democrats put some steel in their backbone and fight back. I believe that this president is incompetent. I believe that this president is ill-equipped to serve in the highest office of this land. And I believe that he is an embarrassment to all that we stand for. He should be charged with obstructing justice. I believe that the President of these United States can be indicted for criminal offenses. And we would join with law enforcement and other attorneys general across this nation in removing this President from office. In addition to that, the Office of Attorney General will continue to follow the money because we believe that he's engaged in a pattern and practice of money laundering laundering the money from foreign governments here in New York State and particularly related to his real estate holdings. It's important that everyone understand that the days of Donald Trump are coming to an end, but we can only do it if all of you exercise the most fundamental right, a right which is basic to democracy, and that is the right to vote. With a country at war with itself, you may be wondering what you could possibly do to change it. The answer is simple everything. And it starts with electing an attorney general who will never back down when Trump or anyone else threatens our rights. So I hope that you will join me and vote on Thursday, September 13th, in quiet dignity, in defiance 